This week on MA Outdoors TV. That's something you don't see back in Indiana right there. Welcome to MA Outdoors TV. This week, we travel up to Long Island, New York to hunt with good friends Glenn Geck and Nate Dunahay. Most people think of Long Island as shopping, travel, and different attractions other than hunting. But we're not up there to buy a handbag. We're up there for some true East Coast waterfowl hunting. We were running a little late, but we got the truck loaded, got the Yeti coolers packed, Spectra shot was ready to go, and it might have been someone's fault. I'm not here to put any blame on myself, but it may or may not have been my fault. I can tell you this, we were ready to get on the road by the time we got to Nate's. We just got up here to Ohio, met up with our buddy Nate. We're gonna go from here now to Long Island, New York to hunt with our uh, other friend Glenn Geck with Knock em Down Guide Service. We're gonna go do a little sea duck, brant hunting, and maybe go from some, some scoters and eiders and possibly geese, so stay tuned for the adventure. So, I mean, we're going sea duck hunting. This is awesome. We're on the road, but I noticed someone was sleeping a little too much even when we got to New York. Andrew, New York. Yeah, I was a little tired. I had to take a few cat naps or 10 <laughs> on the way up there. But uh, when I woke up, I had a surprise. <laughs> system. Packed. So I woke up, stretched out my arms, and sure enough, right in the rear view mirror, blueberries and cherries. Yep, we were getting pulled over. Apparently, in New York, the two left lanes aren't for trucks and trailers. So once we got through with our ordealings with the officer, uh, $270 later, we were back on the road. We get up to Glenn's house and we had a warm New York welcome, but then we ran into a little trouble when trying to find a hunting license. We've been to three stores, two grocery stores, one Walmart, and a few sporting goods stores trying to find licenses to go hunt. We're in Long Island with no license. Hopefully we get one soon because uh, Eric up here is just dying to get on the water. Finally we got our licenses. And we got back to Glen's, got our stuff together, and went to the beach to scout out for our afternoon hunt. Put some birds out there. There's a hook right there. Right 
This segment's been brought to you by Wild Whiskers Leather, the last duck hauler you'll ever need. Providing custom leather game haulers for all types of hunting, from turkey totes to duck haulers, everything can be custom made to suit your needs. Proudly handmade in the USA, all items made by Wild Whiskers Custom Leather is meant to be passed down from generation to generation, providing the highest quality custom made leather game hauler. Don't bring your birds out of the blind of the mess. Bring them out on a Wild Whiskers game hauler. WildWhiskersLeather.com It's caught in a sunset. Sometimes it's caught in a turkey's gobble. It's caught in cup wings coming down. It's brought to you to your smartphone through American Waterfowl Systems. Tired of getting the short of the stick on a banded bird? Or someone else getting brain rights? Then look no further. SpectraShot offers color-coded waterfowl loads that provide positive shot identification, superior energy for greater knockdown power, and also industry-leading turkey loads that are designed to pattern better at longer ranges, meaning more birds in your bag. All rounds are manufactured in the USA in Lafayette, Louisiana. So don't miss out on your next bird. No, you got it with SpectraShot. SpectraShot.com We're gonna bump them out, get them set, and go. Time to shoot them. What are we hunting? Old spawn scooters. Getting the boat in the water, and that means it's time to hunt. All right. So hunting on this big open water, the way they do it is with gang lines. You know, you put a string of decoys out that has about a dozen to 20 decoys per line. You're attaching an anchor to the bottom of the rope. You sink it about 50 to 80 feet. Now we were hunting in the ocean, so that's pretty deep. Um, you know, Lake Erie might be a little shallower, but these guys have hunted big open water, so they knew what they were doing, which is very useful when doing this kind of stuff. The way they were putting them decoys on that line with those clips was something else. As uh, fast as we could get the decoys to the back of the boat, they were putting them in the water. Finally, we get to hunt, but we let Nate film first, and someone forgot to turn on the microphone.
That's something you don't see back in Indiana right there. <laughs> now we're here in late season hunting and these birds have been a little pressured throughout the year so we have to sit a little farther back from the decoys. This is where the spectra shot came in good for us. The long range shooting that we had to deal with, uh, the spectra shot really did its job for us. Nice crappie you got there. First old squall. Squall. That's a good one too. Uh, this is just this is totally different for us though. I mean this is something we'll never ever see in central or western parts of the state. Awesome looking bird. Even though it was a short hunt, we started packing up. You know, we had to head back to Glenn's house. He was going to meet us there. They were going to go try some New York style pizza at Wading River Pizzeria. And let me tell you what, it was delicious. So it was the next morning. Reed was cuddled up close to me in bed because we had to bunk together. Uh, I rolled him out of bed, made him get dressed, and down the road we go. We're headed to Montauk Point. This is going to be interesting. Never been to the place before, but uh, it's famous for its striper fishing. So we're going to try sea duck hunting. This segment's been brought to you by Four Rivers Layout Boats and American Waterfowl Systems. If you are in the market for a layout boat that will get you through the shallows, a boat that is big enough for the larger bodies of open water but not yet too big, room to carry all your gear and then some, a boat that is very stable and can handle larger motors, then you need to look at Four Rivers Layout Boats. With five models to choose from, surely one is the model you are looking for. Are you nuts about waterfowl hunting? Then you should be wearing clothing from Fowl Nuts, where we supply everyday clothing for die-hard waterfowl hunters. Check us out at fowlnuts.com if you are a die-hard waterfowl hunter like us. Tired of having that tom hang up outside your decoys? Look no further. MATV Signature Series mouth calls, the Gobble Getter Turkey Calls will bring them in. They're handcrafted here in the USA, and you can find them at ma-outdoors.com. It's called in a sunset. Sometimes it's called in a turkey's gobble. It's called in cup wings coming down. 
It's brought to you through your smartphones through American Waterfowl Systems. So we get to the harbor, you know, we get the boat in the water, and it is a picture-perfect moment. The harbor water is just glass. There's boats all around. You have the Coast Guard boats, the big commercial fishermen boats. I mean, this is stuff we don't see every day, and it is just awesome. Something you won't see back home in Indiana, that is for sure. So we're heading out and uh, not only is Montauk Point known for its world-class striper fishing, but there's a pretty big oyster bed off the point. And we decided that the water was calm, clear as glass, that we could go right across that oyster bed. That tide was ripping hard and the current was coming in and the waves got pretty big. means waves I mean we're taking waves head-on I was so drenched luckily Andrew saved the camera because otherwise we wouldn't have had any footage so we finally get out to the spot got out of them big waves started setting decoys birds were flying all over this was gonna be a good day I mean, how couldn't it be perfect? You had the lighthouse on the point, sunrise coming up. This was awesome. Got a little wet on the right out here, but it's all part of the hunt. So we finally get out there hunting and we realize that the shooting's a little more difficult than we had anticipated. Uh, with the waves rolling in, it was hard and we had to adjust our leads and we finally got things figured out and started shooting a few birds.
This segment's been brought to you by Spectre Shot and Hayes Calls. Hayes Calls, providing the highest quality duck and goose call at a working man's price. Made in the USA, Hayes Calls can be found in major sporting good retail stores as well as HayesCalls.com. Providing custom leather game haulers for all types of hunting, from turkey totes to duck haulers, everything can be custom made to suit your needs. Proudly handmade in the USA, all items made by Wild Whiskers Custom Leather is meant to be passed down from generation to generation, providing the highest quality custom made leather game hauler. Don't bring your birds out of the blind of the mess, bring them out on a Wild Whiskers game hauler. WildWhiskersLeather.com Lighter in the boat this trip so far. Cool looking bird. Good hand. Juvie. Yeah, Juvie Eider. So we're packed up, done for the day, but we did find one thing that was quite interesting. The Loch Ness Monster. Old Nessie. Yeah. We didn't do the best today, but we made the best out of what life threw our way. Yes. So at the end of the day, we had a great hunt. I mean, this was fun. Uh, we loaded everything up, and this time we went around Montauk Point because we didn't want to get wet again. So we head back into the marina and the sights were beautiful. The different ducks that we killed that day were, we've never seen them before. So it was all new to us and it was awesome. We got to the ramp, loaded everything up, took our pictures, headed back to Glenn's house. It's an hour. So we finished today with 13 birds. We shot uh, some eiders, commons, and also some white winged scoters. So some of those birds were first for us. I mean, this is still something we've never ever done. So it's really, really cool experience coming out here and being able to do this. That's all the time we have for tonight, but make sure to tune in to our next episode as we finish up day three and four of our New York hunt going after white winger scoter and brant. And also make sure to go to our website at ma-outdoors.com and give us a like on Facebook at MA Outdoors TV. We would also like to thank these fine sponsors. Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Avalon Knives, cut with the sharpest knife in the world every time. Backwoods Decoy Systems, get your decoys in the backwoods. SRB Field Rest, keep your gun dry all day long. Angle Porting Choke Tubes, Natural camo face paint.